everyone, my name is Matt Scorpion and welcome back to the reset update. This time it is actually the last week of Solstice of Heroes. Let me emphasize, this is the actual last week of Solstice of Heroes. So if you want to get your armor or get the associated trions with Solstice of Heroes, this is the last week you have to do it. You have until, let's see, Monday is Labor Day, which is September 7th. You have until September 8th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Which would be 10 Pacific? Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, that is the time left you have to do for Solstice Heroes. If you need any glows, ornaments, or stuff from the shop, there you go. That is the last thing you need. So, per the usual, let us start off with the Eververse details to see what she has for breakfast. I have no idea why I'm needing to pause so much. So, for this week's uh, inventory of Bright Dust, we have the various bundles and finishers as well. Oh, wait, that's what's actually going to be there. Mime Stick. Okay, going back to the actual front page for Bright Dust. Let's just see. We have the Pomegranate Gloss again. This shader coming around once again. Another interesting look. It doesn't look too bad, but I don't think I'll mind. I'll like it. And the Shocking Entrance, essentially a little lightning zap for a transmat effect for Bright Dust. But zap it, hey. A Twisty Dance, essentially another Fortnite dance, so no. The Soul Piercer ship, a very good looking ship that most of my friends bought day one, but at per the usual, I don't. So, for. I don't really want it. The usual consumables, as well as the Flag on the Play emote, or as my friend would say, throwing laundry on the field, for whatever reason he does. The Micro Mini, and the Tiny Sparrow again, beep beep, midi pee hee. Okay, as well as the Jubilant Shell, which is essentially turning your ghost into a beach ball. But hey, and then the Savage Handmaker is the discount. If you heard some weird audio, it's because I had to look around my mic. And the Sandcastle Projection, a Sandcastle, pa -ta -ta, and a Flick of the Wrist emote for essentially just spinning the ball. Because you're fascinated. I guess that's what it's called. Uh, moving on to the actual Bright Store for the variety... Keep in mind, this is the last week, and even though some stuff may have not come around, you are going to want to pick these up if you want them, because they won't be back Don't until next to the Solstice of Heroes. The, the Power Rising, i.e. the Super Saiyan emote, has shown up in the Bright Dust, so if you wanted this one, time to get it now. Moving on, we have the Cabana Shell. I always forget the name of this type of hat, but it is a hat. It's beach-like. <laughs> The Ira's Grace Sparrow as well, basically uh, the standard sparrow as opposed to the chopper sparrow. Nice and glowy, as well as the intimidating snap, and I shall once again say this is not intimidating, so do not think it is. As well as the Dream of the New World uh, shader for Sturm all the way from Seasonal Opulence. This makes it actually look pretty damn cool, but at the same time it is Sturm. I don't like to, I don't really like it too much. As well as the Spelunking Shell. Gives you a little Indiana Jones hat for your ghost shell, another hat, as well as, again, the Sandcastle projection, for whatever reason. The Warsat Arrival, the Sandcastle, and the Shocking Entrance, and four shaders. Welded Brass, oh my goodness, so many times have I said Welded Brass is in the store, as well as Pomegranate Gloss. And Oiled Algae, Jesus, they don't have many shaders for Solstice, do they? As well as the Tangerine Gloss, which I said that I think I might actually run this one because it actually doesn't look half bad. It is a bit bright, but at the same time, I actually don't mind it. So aside from that, that is all consumables. Checking the days, we have 70 days as of this week's reset left in the season, so just over two months. Now, moving on, I didn't see any Infamy or Glory slash uh, Valor boosters active, so... There is no real grind going on, but aside from that, the ordeal this week is the Corrupted, which is a pain in the ass sort of strike that I've heard so far. But aside, but yeah, I'm sure you can get by it if you wanted to. The means to an end this week takes you back to Io in the Rupture once again, and since last week was the Taken Heller, the cycle resets, so it is back to the Pyromaster. Basically, the final boss is a giant incin incinerator that his immune phase is essentially just break any blight that shows up once it goes immune and you shall drop a shield not too hard as well as the umbral traces being i forget i think nightfall and nightmare hunts 
But moving on, for Crucible, the Rotators are Team Scorched once again and Showdown once again. Now, be aware, I'm not sure of 100% of the modes, but there are a bunch of Crucible modes and maps that are also being vaulted. Some that don't have relevance to locations. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Some vaulting things are not 100% relevant to locations, but at the same time, they are going away. Team Scorch being one of them. Same with Momentum Control. So, once they show up these in the last weeks of these seasons, you're, and if you need to do something in them, be sure to play them now. So, uh, let's see. Is there anything I missed? Uh, Flashpoint is on Nessus. That's about it. Uh, I think... Uh, just double checking... Load, please. Yeah, Flashpoint on Nessus. Aside from that, uh, that is all I have for you on the reset update. Like I said, I will reiterate, this is the last week of Souls of the Heroes. If there's anything you need to get done or anything you want to buy, this is the last week to do it. In relevance to buy, they will probably be in this in the store next year. But in terms of the armor and triumphs, you'll probably only be able to get them this year. So if there's something you need to do, armor, ornaments, uh, once again, triumphs, you have to do that this year. Aside from that, my name is Matt Scorpion, and this has been the reset update for September 1st. I shall have means to an end out tomorrow morning, per the usual. But aside from that, my name is Matt Scorpion. If you like the video, please like and share, subscribe if you will. I will be... Ah, words. I will be putting out these videos pretty weekly, and I will see you in the next video.